Uh, name's Gavin Hughes, fight record 4-0, uh, turn out to HFFS, Sapphires. Uh, my name's Aaron McDonald, fighting out of Predators Manchester. Uh, my fight record is currently 5-1. and one. Uh, Not much thoughts at the minute, just focused, trained hard, and I'm going to take the win on. I've seen him a few times fight on online, big guy, 70, 77 kilo he fought out in the past, so he's obviously cut weight a lot. He looks bigger than me now. He looks bigger than me, and he's cut weight, and he looks bigger than me when he's cut weight when I'm full. So, yeah, I reckon I'll be faster than him. But I think the best training camp I've had out of all my fights now, uh, especially with the likes of Tom Blackledge and that Rami. Uh, the lads have got Rami, the minutes spot on, so weight cuts went well. Comes from even better. As always, just training hard constantly. Try to mix it up. Been to a few other little gyms, doing extra wrestling at Y Club. Um, it's good, everything's great, you know, everything's really good at the minute. Don't think too much in that, I just know I'm going to take the win. Uh, take it any way it comes, knockout, submission anyway. Don't mind really, but I uh, just want to get in there and finish the fight soon as. When it could go up, down, left, right, I don't know, you know, you don't know, do you? Could, could go, stay still up, could go to the ground. You know, I like, I like to stand and bang, I like to wrestle. My jiu-jitsu is good at the minute, so if you want to go to the ground, we'll go to the ground. If you want to stand up, stand up. I'm happy to go anywhere. Ladies and gentlemen, the next bout is a lightweight contest and will be fought over three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of Predators MMA. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Aaron McDonald. Ladies and gentlemen, I am Jamie the Haymaker Hay. Here as always with Ian M16 Butlin at Shinobi War 3. We've seen some fantastic fights on the card so far. And we're going up to the next one with Gavin Hughes taking on Aaron McDonald. Well, you will see Aaron making his way to the cage. Oops. Assistant referee Neil Hall giving him his final check over before we have my pick a fight of the night yeah you said it before and and let's see what happens in the fight i mean i totally agree with you this is a great fight it's actually title worthy this fight in my eyes i think it certainly is you've got two guys very very evenly matched you know from two great camps hffs and predators obviously in manchester you know I really cannot pick a winner in this fight. Well, there's also talk of both these guys possibly at some point going to featherweight. Although Gav Hughes has cut a lot of weight. You know, Aaron McDonald maybe, maybe wanted definitely to go to featherweight. But wanting title shots as well. You know, they're both looking for Shinobi titles. He said this yesterday. You know, let's see who wins this fight. It's going to be probably in line again. Yeah, certainly. I, I think the winner of this has got to be looking at a title fight against the winner of our, our main event. Anthony O'Connor and Thor Paulson, which is another mouth walking and match. And his opponent representing HFFS. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Gavin Hughes. So Gavin Hughes, another member of the revolution team of uh, HFFS with Tom Blackledge, now his new coach. Does a lot of work with Tom Blackledge. You know, the guy he learns very, very quickly. He is a big lightweight, he's a tough lightweight. And, you know, this is a step up that Gav has been waiting for. Well, it looks very, very up for it. You know, you can see in the in the, in the VT and, and, and looking at him now, he, you know, he's in very, very good condition. His face, you can see that he's trimmed down. See Tom Black is there looking over his fighter. I, I, I really do think this has got fight of the night written all over it. Yeah, I really do agree with you. You know, both, both guys have got very, very good hands. Both have got a very, very good ground game. You know, I don't really know where it's going to go. I couldn't tell you, Ian. However, I'm excited wherever it is. Yeah, I certainly am as well. I, I've seen Aaron McDonald in every fight he's been in, and he's always been tough. He's brought it. He's thrown big strikes. But, I've, I've, you know, I've seen him beat guys to a pulp. But Gav Hughes, I've seen a lot of this guy. I've seen him really hurt people with his shots. So I, I don't know. You know, it's a very tough fight to call, but I absolutely love it. I really can't wait for this. So, so tough to call. Ladies and gentlemen, this lightweight contest is sponsored by HFF Sapphire. 
Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner, representing Predators MMA. He comes to you with a record of five fights, four wins, with only one defeat. Ladies and gentlemen, Aaron McDonald! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, representing HFFS. He comes to you with a record of four fights, Four wins and no defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Gavin Hughes. <laughs> Fight sponsor is HFF Sapphire and referee is Craig Lawrence. So Gav Hughes in the Black Valley Tudor shorts, McDonald in the white Venom shorts. Let's do this, Ian. <laughs> Just cannot wait. Oh, oh! Massive shot straight away from McDonald. Huge straight left. Can he land another? That's a big shot. This well, big, we talked big. about the big weight cut and that can affect your chin. Is that what's happened here? But it was a sharp shot there from McDonald. And, got, and now he knows he can hurt Gavin Hughes. And he's got a really, really nice guillotine there. You know, he's cranking it really well. And obviously with neck cranks now being allowed in amateur MMA, this is a precarious position is, for him to be in. It's a dodgy position. He's that's on tight. He's trying to get out of that, but it's a really tight position to be in. You know, he's lifted him off the ground a little bit there. He's really working him. He's took him to the ground Referee's with that. He's looking on carefully. Some, some good work from, uh, from Gav Hughes there, though. Tom Blackledge trying to grab the wrist, which he, he has done. There's good instructions there from Tom Blackledge. So he's weathered the storm, but he's underneath Mount. McDonald's really took this fight to, uh, to Gav Hughes, hasn't he? With a big shot straight away. That's the third time I've seen... Uh, McDonald nearly knocked something out in his first punch. He's done, you know, he's done it before. He's a very, very tough kid. He's got well, some big shots, clearly. Yeah, he has. He's got it's a nice, good, solid left hand. He's got there, straight left. But here we go. Gavin Hughes has got himself onto the top position. Can he start to bring himself back from the brink of defeat he was in? Well, yeah. You know, he looks like looks where recovered now, and uh, you know, he takes a good bit of time to recover, doesn't he, Ian? He certainly does. I mean, that was a stunning shot. Like I said, he's had that big weight cut. Gets hit with a big shot to start, then he got hit with a second straight left. But now he's got himself back on top, he's in the guard. The, the thing is, with a shot like that, how much toll can that take on you, Ian, in the later rounds? Well, that's what we've got to see now. I mean, the, y your fitness is really what, what um, gives you your, 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 sorry, your recovery, trying to get yeah. it out. I felt like I'd been punched myself then. Yeah, so, you know, the, the fitter guys are the, one will, are the ones who will recover quicker. Obviously, Bobby Pallet's put a lot into this fight. The weight cut could have affected him for the for the resistance, but his fitness is what is going to get him stood back up. Yeah, you know, Gav Hughes is a very tough tough kid, dropping some big shots now. But he took it. It was a big shot that straight away, and I think McDonald, uh, you know, capitalised on it. You know, didn't rush in too much and give him some other big shots. Caused a bit of damage. Went for that, obviously the uh, the choke as well. It's a good round for for, uh, for McDonald, whatever way this goes now. But yeah, certainly, and I think McDonald didn't do anything wrong. You know, he did everything he could to try and finish the fight. It was just Gavin Hughes was very, very resilient and did a good job of defending. Now he's finding some big hammer fists in. Yeah, this this round has really turned round, hasn't it? And, and Gavin, now he's got the guillotine. He must have thought he had it tight enough to jump the guard. It's an arming he's guillotine, and that's a tap. That's a tap. That's a win. Well, what a comeback that was from that initial first shot. Rocked him. Now that shows tenacity and that shows someone who, in my opinion, deserves a title shot. Absolutely, that's a comeback that we, you know, I, I didn't know if we'd see that, Ian. I really did not know if I'd see that. But a great start from McDonald and a great finish for Gav Hughes. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee called a heart to the contest. Two minute 46 into round number one. The winner by guillotine, Gavin Hughes. Once again, big shout out to the fight sponsor, HFFS Sapphire. Ladies and gentlemen, we're here with your winner, Gav Hughes. What a great fight that was, Gav. He came out swinging there, didn't he, mate? I know he does. I've seen him do it before against one of uh, Tom's lads. One of our lads, Daryl. He's caught him well and he's a tough lad. Uh, I've had to change the game a lot, whether it be in Southport and that, like, you know, they're all awkward, everyone knows that. But you give him credit, call me and, you know, uh, stoutly recovered and first sub, thanks down to there, Tom. 
the Uvigan games come on a lot better now, which uh, hopefully that improved that, uh, that shoulder. Now, Tom, you've uh, obviously been there before with Aaron. He did exactly the same shot against Darrell. <laughs> did that feel like deja vu? Yeah, I mean, you know, obviously we've, we've trained for six, seven weeks. Um, a little bit more, actually, for him. Um, you know, we said it, I said at the start, when he fought Darrell, he hits hard. He's a strong, strong kid. He's from a good gym. Um, you know, and obviously we planned for that. When it happened, as it did with Darrell, pretty much exactly the same. I was like, oh. And Gavin recovered exactly the same and, and, and did what was needed and pushed it. Yeah, with that, Gav, he obviously did really good recovery there. You know, he went for a guillotine himself. Was that quite tight in? Yeah, I felt like I was defending it well anyway. I didn't feel like I was always moving off. Uh, but give it to him, I the fight. Now, can I hear Tom, obviously, coaching you through as you put a guillotine in. Did that help you? So, under definitely all through there. I've never had a uh, submission out of four fights. My fifth fight. First proper fight with Tom and get a submission straight away. Don't know. Now, with uh, obviously the, the, uh, the fight looming for the lightweight title, that must be something that you're looking for. Yeah, definitely. I, you know, I always want to be fighting the best lads out there. You know, I don't feel like I put the best performance in tonight, but, you know, I feel like I've learned from it and I'm ready to go again. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Gav Hughes!